What is going on everybody? Welcome here to Hobby Adventures. In today's episode, I would like to announce that we ended up getting a 3D printer. So the reason why I ended up getting a 3D printer is because I like modeling newer stuff. You guys know that a lot of the models out there are sort of like from a long time ago or longish, but I really like the architectural looks of the modern uh, structures, modern train stations, modern uh, anything. That's the whole reason why we ended up getting a 3D printer. Let's go ahead, start the video. Uh, we gotta do a couple of things first. I'm gonna lay, lay down some styrofoam and then we'll see how things go and we'll unbox it, put it together, drop a 3D file into the 3D printer and go ahead, test out the 3D printer. I'm so excited for this. I hope you guys are too. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Listen, I am super stoked. I'm gonna show you guys a couple of things that we did print. Uh, now, yes, the very first model, train model thing that I did print was this truss. Um, this thing turned out really well, not bad. There's a couple of things, I don't know if you guys can see there in the middle, uh, but that's all right. So this was full size. I think this was supposed to be for HO scale. So what the slicer program does, it takes your file that you want to print and it slices the file or it slices the image into the printable layers of the 3D printer. Uh, now within that slicer program, you can actually change the size. So like I was saying, I think this here is actually this here I think is actually uh, HO scale. And then this one here, I scaled it down a little bit smaller. 
It's a little bit smaller than a HO scale, but this is probably good for like a walkway. But again, I'm learning, right? This is all what it is. So this was my first print and I was really super stoked for it. Next one was, yeah, I'm definitely, definitely integrating this thing into the Leo. <laughs> I gotta pick that up. I gotta step, I gotta step back for this because this is actually pretty big and it's not the full size. How friggin' cool is that? <laughs> it came in two pieces, but it's 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 supposed to be together. And then, oh, here we go. The bridge. Now I did get different color PLA, which is the plastic that you use to 3D print. Uh, reason that I did was because, well, these are gonna get ended up getting painted, but I wanted to get the black one so that I'm gonna try putting an LED light inside to see if there's any light bleed through the plastic. I don't think there will be. Hold on, let me put in these high powered lights. I can't say I'm blind now. I don't think that was a bright idea. Ah, like that pun. <laughs> Anyways, so. My daughter, she's just looking at me like I'm weird, but I might be. <laughs> yeah, well, you're weird for not being weird. I am weird. I know you are. <laughs> Anyways, so that's the whole idea. So I am going to put a 3D, oh, 3D. I am going to put an LED light inside here. Uh, see how that works. Uh, again, this was another file. This is actually this file I need to kind of modify. So I put them away. Uh, my Kado containers that I have fit perfectly right in here. So I know that this measurement's perfect. Uh, so I need to kind of space these dividers out. Uh, the exact same thing as this one, but uh, I have a, a buddy of mine, he's an engineer. He knows how to work the 3D programs and uh, he's gonna help me out with that. So the other thing that I actually did on my own and I'm really proud of it is, is <laughs> uh, this. Yeah, you guys saw me cutting out the styrofoam to go over this. This is a portal, a tunnel portal. This is my take on a modern porter tunnel. And yeah, this thing's awesome. So it's a two by one. I don't know what you would call it. Uh, but yeah, man, I'm, I'm super, super, super happy. This is the coolest thing ever. So, and the next thing that we're gonna be doing is I'm gonna, like I said, remember, I, I really like the whole modern things. So the thing that I'm gonna be working on, and hopefully I'm gonna, not hopefully, I am gonna need a lot of help with my buddy, uh, is I'm gonna be doing a modern, my version on a, on a modern bridge that's gonna be going over that gap there. Uh, yeah, I was talking to my buddy, he thinks it's pretty doable. And let me tell you everybody, <laughs> it, if I can get it done the way it's in my head, it's gonna be absolutely out of this world. And again, it's gonna be modern, it's gonna have like all of the Arctic, Ar 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 Arctic, Arctic, not Arctic, architectural, wow. <laughs> that, um, can you tell that I'm a little excited? Just a little, just a little. All right, that's the end of the video. I'm talking, I'm ranting. Until the next time, keep on modeling.